so I was translating, so I was saying adding more thing to it, Mike. It's about educating, it's about telling, uh, respecting, understanding. So I'm talking about like, um, you know, sharing this with the, the youth, the next generations. Some of them don't understand because we don't talk about it. But in order for them, we have to tell them or talk, I don't know how to talk to them about that. But it's a way of uh, teaching them to understand accept, accepting everything. So how do you guys, uh, you know, uh, children, they're very pure, very innocent. So for them, maybe it doesn't mean anything, but I feel like, you know, older people, adults, they, they see things more differently. Do you guys have anything like anyone ever give you guys those look like they're not accepting? Yeah, I mean, um, personally, I haven't had too much difficulty with, uh, you know, public, um, but in a, you know, like, say my grandparents' generation, it's a lot more difficult. Um, I'm, you know, fortunately I was in Australia and my grand mom, my, my two grandmothers were uh, back in Burma, so they don't really interact with me as much. Um, but I would have a diff, I don't think I would be able to be open with them. Um, they would, won't see it in, because they're very, one is Catholic, um, the other is Buddhist, but their generation is more difficult to uh, accept, I think. But I think it's, um, like you said, education. Um, if you're still the same person, no matter what, you know, no matter who you love, you're still the same person. So if you can just approach it in that respect, if you have to live with them or, um, but also let them, allow them to ex go through their own process of grieving because they've lost this idea of you, you know, they want you to see you m get married to a man. They don't even imagine you get, you know, getting married to a woman. You know, that's not even possible in their head. So, I think you've got to allow them to process it and grieve that loss, and then you can repair that relationship. Wow, that's very strong. I have chills. Mm -hmm. So uh, let me translate that. It's very, it's, it's very meaningful. Thì ở đây khi mà Ozzy nói là À, cái thế kệ cái thế kỷ mà thời mà ông bà ngoại ông bà nội thì của Ozzy như của à, không có chấp nhận thì cái, cái sự họ cứ mộng mơ là cái ước mơ của họ lúc nào cũng là con cháu mình là lớn lên là người phụ nữ phải cưới người đàn ông thì có gia đình đàng hoàng à, nhưng mà ở đây là nhìn lại giống như là mình thấy là cái sự mình khi mà Ozzy hay là Sam đã chọn mà đi con đường mà đã là à, giới tính mà à, yêu người đồng tính thì làm sao mà có được một cái mà như mà cái truyền thống của chúng ta thì ở đây là à, Ozzy có nói là khi thì họ phải chấp nhận cái sự mà giống như là à, coi như là à, cái đứa cháu đó nó họ đã chết đi rồi và họ là cải tạo họ phải nói là hồi sinh là thành một người khác thành giới tính khác thì họ phải sắp chấp nhận được cái sự à, cái sự mất mát của cái cái linh hồn đó hay là cái người đó so sorry about it's the soul so it's like they have to like you know our older generations they have to understand that it's the loss of the soul it's I mean the loss of the person but the soul is there maybe I have to translate that differently but it's it's the soul who makes us who we are. Maybe right. we're you know we, I, like you, very feminine. <laughs> who would know? Right. You know, <laughs> right? And then yeah, so it depends. So like me, I am feminine, but they don't really know inside like a man. <laughs> you know, they're more masculine. Sometimes I'm masculine than a man. Yeah. So my sometimes I feel like I cannot stand. This is bad, but this is hard to me. Like sometimes like I have friends who are gay too. Right. Are yeah. super feminine compared to me, and then sometimes <laughs> it's like I'm more manly than you are. Yeah. <laughs> but that's how we don't know, you know. It's just right. like that. Right. But um, do you guys have any stories uh, to share, like something similar? Or anyone you guys think that uh, they have, like, you know, it's it's not easy. Well, it's different yeah. in a different way, you know. And this is a different thing that in our community, uh, we say that people accept, but it's not fully accepted. I think that's one of the reasons why we came together and created our Instagram account um, where it's basically our couples page and we kind of just decided that we wanted to just show people how we are just our authentic selves, just um, showing our love, our joy. Um, and just spreading happiness and um, I guess one of our um, sayings that we kind of came up with was to make sure that the content that we put out there is either going to do something that empowers or motivates, inspires or uplifts um, whomever happens to come across it. So that's been important to us. Yeah, yeah. representation. I think um, when I was Growing up, there was no one on TV that I could re identify with um, in terms of their sexuality, let alone someone Asian, you know. So I think 
having more representation in the media, and these days it's much, you know, like you said, it's more accepting, it's more visible. Uh, it allows that dialogue uh, within that person themselves to go, oh, I identify with that. I think I might be this or that. And then they can come together and, you know, you have to come out to yourself first, actually. Mm -hmm. So that was a process I had to go through. I think everyone does. And then, then you kind of reach out and come out to your family and your close friends, you know. Right, thank you. Thì ở đây là Ozzy và Sam đã có một cái trang uh, trang mạng ở Instagram. Thì một chút nữa mình sẽ để cái tên dưới thì uh, quý vị nào mà hay ai đó muốn uh, coi và theo dõi thì có thể theo dõi thêm. Vì ở đây là mình nói về uh, cái sự mà uh, như Ozzy có nói là ở trong cộng đồng uh, người Á Châu của chúng ta thì ít ai mà có tiếng nói à, khi mà họ là người à, giới tính à, yêu à, người cùng giới tính với nhau thì là không có cái sự à, cái cái sự mà mạnh mẽ để mà đứng ra để, để mà nói thì ở đây là họ muốn bắt đầu à, để cho những người nào mà trong cùng hoàn cảnh thì mình nói là góc khúc cùng trong góc khúc của họ có thể có hiểu được à, cái sự đoàn kết à, một cái mà có một cái mình kêu là cộng đồng trên mạng mạng xã hội để mà có những ai mà cần sự giúp đỡ hay là cần người tâm sự thì cũng đây cũng có à, hai người này I, think I was talking about like if someone who wants to share or something who has the same uh, similar situation, um, they can you know connect with you guys. They can uh, have that bonding. So I'm talking about right now. My my biggest questions, like always, is um, you know growing up as most of us, we don't say a little, but I believe that a lot of us are you know whoever they know um, what is it that they want. Like my friends. Um, I have a few friends who are, you know, gay, but one of them, I already knew he was gay before he came up to me. So, uh, which is like, let's say, <laughs> the first time I met him was when <laughs> third grade. Yeah. I already know he's gay. Yeah. I already know that. <laughs> I didn't want to say anything. I did not say anything. And then college years passed by, or finally in our, so third grade, we're probably eight years old by then. I'm a year older than him, so I'm probably nine and he's eight. Years later is when we're actually, what, uh, 26, 27? He said, I have to tell you something. I was like, I know. I was like, I already know. You don't have to tell me. He said, what is it? I was like, I know. You don't have to tell me. But he was like, no, you don't know. I was like, fine. I was like, fine, tell me. And he's like, I am gay. And I was like, I didn't say anything. And he's like, why are you not reacting? I said, I already know. <laughs> so, <laughs> so let me translate this. Yeah. <cười> thì uh, Nietzsche sẽ nói là từ hồi lúc nhỏ thì cái giới tính của một người mình đã biết cái từ họ uh, từ họ trong đa số đa phần họ đã biết là họ là uh, giới, giới, giới tính như thế nào họ là thích uh, đàn bà hay đàn ông rồi thì Nietzsche sẽ có một người uh, người bạn thì là tiếng Việt Nam mình kêu là uh, giới tính thứ ba đi ha thì họ uh, anh chàng đã biết là anh ta nhưng Nietzsche mới gặp đó là biết là anh ta là À, thích con trai rồi chứ không thích con gái thì lúc đó là mình mới có lớp 3, lớp 4 mà nhưng mà sau khoảng thời gian là mấy chục năm sau khoảng thời gian mà mình 26, 27 thì người bạn đó mới nói với Chelsea là ồ oh, có chuyện để mà để nói thì như lúc đó Chelsea đã biết là anh ta đã biết là 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 thích cái đàn ông rồi thì khi mà anh ta nó nói là ồ oh, uh, I'm gay thì như Chelsea không có phản ứng chút nào tại vì đã biết thật sự như thế rồi thì ở đây là I want to ask you guys at what age do you already know your you know your interest <laughs> that is one of the questions. <laughs> um, I think Aussie kind of touched on this earlier, but that's why representation is so important because um, I didn't really start discovering it or questioning until I was in college. And that was because that was the first time I really had any friends who identified as gay, lesbian, bisexual, whatever it was. Um, but whenever I would think back, <laughs> I I could have known as early as probably kindergarten. Wow, really? <laughs> so, and a lot of times you just don't have the words to understand what you're feeling or thinking and that it's any different than than your peers. So, so you had a crush um, on someone else at that time? <laughs> Not necessarily. I mean, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> But yeah, it's it's really hard to kind of um, decipher what those feelings were, and so most of the times, um, without that representation, you unfortunately find out years and years later. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.